I'm pretty sure that was a brim. I've done a lot of fishing with prawns in the estuary and that was a very definitive peck. Well, we've got something on this line, but I suspect it's just weed. And it is. That was definitely a fish. That was a good one too. That was like, let's put it in estuary terms, that was like a 50 centimeter tail off. Smashing that then. That was definitely, definitely a fish. That was way too solid of a hit to be anything else. Well, unfortunately, that's another week with no fish, yeah, which is a shame. I really thought we were going to get something that time. Like, we had a nice hole. We had awesome, like, fresh squid as bait. There were fish jumping in that hole. But, uh, unfortunately, we didn't catch anything. So, I think next video, we're just going to try and catch fish. I think we'll head to Husky. There's a beach there, it's super flat, there's nothing going on, you only catch stingrays there, but I mean, uh, well, banjo sharks, but um, better than nothing. And at least that way you guys get to see me actually catch something for a change, which would be nice. Yeah. So yeah, um, stay tuned for next week for that one, and I'll see you there. Alright, so welcome back. So tonight we're going to be doing a bit of night fishing off the beach here. Um, we're just at near Moonamuna Creek uh, in Huskisson and we're just going to try on the beach. We've got we've got those nice little slabs of squid that we caught uh, a few episodes back um, and we're just going to chuck them out. We're going to hope for the best. <laughs> Alright, so, welcome back. Tonight, oh, please tell me I didn't forget the bait. Oh, lucky. So tonight, we're at Huskisson. We're just at the beach adjacent, oh, yeah, adjacent Muna Muna. We've got some squid flaps here that we caught ourselves in the previous video. And we've got our two rods there, which we're going to use to catch stuff. We, um... We also brought with us a bit of steel trace, just in case there's, you know, a fair few sharks around tonight and we keep getting bitten off. Just thought we'd come prepared, you know. The rig we've got here is just a running sinker rig. There's your running sinker, 40 pound leader, a nice offset. I don't know if the GoPro can see it, but offset beach hook like that. And squid is quite tough, but we're gonna feed through three times and just have it sitting out there like that. And the idea is that something will come along and grab that, and when they do, we'll get them. All right, so once again, this, um, this reel here is having a few little runs. So I've just tightened the drag up a bit, and that way, next time the reel goes, I know the fish has properly taken it. Um, so it would take a good amount of force to sort of pull that, is what I've got set as now. It's not anything fun. It feels like an eel or a ray of some kind. I, I don't think it's a salmon or something exciting. I mean, it's, a, it's an all right fish. It's got a little bit of weight to it, but definitely not heaps. It's definitely a fish though. And hey, for us to catch a fish off the beach, it's, you know, it's a good day when that happens. Oh, I can see it. I think it's a banjo shark. Oh no, Paul Jackson? Nope, banjo shark. Interesting. There we go, it's a tiny little banjo shark. 
So for those of you who haven't seen this before, they're um they're not particularly dangerous, it's not gonna hurt you. Um we'll flip him over so we can see just if you do touch them, you can rub your hands that way, but don't rub them that way. So I do have spines there. Right. Gonna flip you over, buddy, and see how that hawk is looking. Perfect. Right in the corner of the mouth, that should be easy to get out. Look at that. Smooth as. So I'll put this rod back and release him. Yeah, so. So these uh, banjo sharks are quite common around here. They're, um, they belong to the same family as stingrays and sharks. They're somewhat of a missing link between the two. Alrighty. There we go. I know it's uncomfortable. Alrighty, we'll chuck you back. Whoa. Swim away. We'll just lay there, either way. Go swim, swim buddy. There you go. There you go. 